Congratulations on your newborn. This is a precious but challenging time, and we're here to support you in raising a happy and healthy infant. You're probably receiving a flood of overwhelming advice from well-meaning friends and family. And I'm here to offer guidance based on data and science led by pediatricians nationwide and tailored to our local challenges. Here in Franklin County, 17 to 30 infants die each year unexpectedly due to sleep-related causes. It's equal to an entire kindergarten classroom each and every year. In fact, sleep-related deaths are one of the leading causes of infant death in our community. We can do better. For instance, I'm sure you've heard of the ABCs of Safe Sleep by now. It stands for Alone, Back, Crib. We know babies feel safest in your arms. What a loving place for them when you're awake and can watch them. However, we also know babies sleep safest following the ABCs. Every nap, every night, every time. Alone. Your baby should have their own sleep space, not in your bed. They'll feel safe and secure in their crib. Sharing a bed with them, however, is not safe. Back. Place babies on their backs for every sleep. Once they can confidently roll over both ways on their own, leaving them like that is okay, but always place them on their back first. Crib. An empty crib or bassinet with a firm mattress and fitted sheet is safest. No blankets, no toys, no pillows. No bumpers or hats that can cover a baby's face and block their breathing. Babies can be kept warm and comfortable without blankets, stuffed animals, or pillows. Believe me, we understand the challenges of sleepless nights and a crying baby, but these steps are important for your baby's well-being, and we know that that doesn't mean it's easy. It's normal for newborns to wake up every two to three hours. If you have a partner, friend, or family member who can help you sometimes, Work on a schedule to split shifts during the night so all of you can get more rest. Sometimes it can be hard because it's everyone is exhausted. Newborns are exhausting. You're so tired and it's in the middle of the night. The part I hate it was it affected my sleep. <laughs> so, you know, in my opinion and in my experience, I feel like we're leaving the mom and keeping the other kids out or just, you know, attending to, maybe it's just the one for a parent, just really being attentive to that one so that the mom can get, you know, a, not only a physical break with sleeping, but a mental break as well. But babies are babies, like if you put them in a doubt, they will wake up again. So it will be a little hard for the nighttime, definitely. None of us are at our best when we're tired, especially when our body is trying to recover from childbirth and all the lifestyle changes that come with having a new baby. Our goal is to help your baby sleep in the safest way we know to help them reach their first birthday. When you're up in the middle of the night to feed the baby, about every two to three hours, try these things to keep yourself alert and awake. Turn on a dim light. Try grabbing something to eat or drink. Chewing or drinking something can help keep you alert and fuel you to care for your little one. If you need to lie down to feed, set an alarm. It can be a real lifesaver if you're in danger of nodding off. Remove pillows, blankets, and bedding while you feed and set the alarm to wake up. The more things and people in the bed, the less safe it is. And remember, making sure you have a smoke-free environment is so important to your baby's health. Smoking and vaping are linked to higher rates of babies dying before their first birthday. And secondhand smoke can harm their developing lungs and airways. If these nights are hard, talk to your pediatrician or sign up for home visiting to receive free, regular visits from a medical professional or outreach worker. In the middle of the night, you can also call or text the National Maternal Mental Health Hotline. The baby's crying and you just want to bring them in there with you and just go to sleep, you know? Because you know the baby will probably go to sleep if they're beside you, you know? His dad would try to put him in the bed with us, but I didn't want him to get too comfortable with that because now putting him back in, a bit, in his bassinet is going to be harder. Crying is just their way of communicating because they don't have any other way. And that doesn't mean that they're in pain. It doesn't mean that they're sad, necessarily. It's just their way of calling out to you. And I realized I can soothe. I can soothe her without holding her in my bed while I'm trying to sleep and she's trying to sleep. Babies communicate through crying. 
but a cry doesn't always mean something is wrong. I know when I'm tired or frustrated, I'm cranky. Since they can't yet say that, they likely will cry. If your baby is crying, avoid bringing them into bed with you to sleep or nap, as it can pose risks like blocking the breathing or overheating. Couches and beds also present dangers, increasing the risk of your baby suffocating. And items like bouncers, rockers, or even car seats may seem like a solution, but they are not safe for sleep as they can block your baby's airway. Always place your baby on a flat, firm surface, not on an incline. Consider giving your baby a pacifier that's not connected to anything like a shirt or stuffed animal. Or try swaddling them with a sleep sack to recreate that snug feeling they had while inside the womb. A sound machine or an app on your phone that recreates the sound of your heartbeat can also be helpful. Following these steps helps make sure your baby is sleeping in a safe environment and it helps build that healthy habit. If your baby won't stop crying and you're feeling overwhelmed, call the Crying Baby Hotline. I am embarrassed to say that I fell asleep in my bed with, you know, all the things that they tell you not to do, I did, because I was too, too, too tired. When you're already um, tired and you have a lack of sleep, it's very easy to um, fall asleep because breastfeeding is like a comfort, so it makes it even harder to stay up when you're already exhausted. I would fall asleep while nursing her, you know, with her in the bed. And so I would try my best to not do that, but it just literally happened. And I'm like, I gotta get her back to her bassinet or her crib, you know, when we did move her to the crib. My biggest advice to any, you know, father or father figure or support system, really making the mom feel like we're a team and, you know, we're in this together and you're not alone. Breastfeeding in particular can be physically draining, requiring lots of extra energy to properly nourish your baby. But Waking up every two hours, whether for bottle or breastfeeding, also takes an emotional toll. The challenges of feeding and the overall exhaustion for caring for a newborn can be overwhelming. So let's make sure that during these precious moments, you're in a safe and secure environment to improve your experience. Remember, use a hard, upright chair to stay awake while feeding and set an alarm on your phone as backup if you feel drowsy. If you prefer feeding in bed, make it safe by removing pillows and blankets. Again, set an alarm in case you doze off and return the baby as soon as you wake up to keep them safe. And keep a bassinet or crib nearby to easily transition your baby to their own safe sleep space, alone, on their back, and in their empty crib. We understand the challenges of safe sleep for your little one. It's not always easy, but it's so important to do. Every nap, every night, every time. That's why it's important to share this information with your village or others helping you care for your baby. Making sure our baby sleeps safe helps them throughout their whole lives. Good sleep habits have benefits for their mental health and their success in school and reduces behavioral issues. With this guidance and local support, we all play a role in keeping our babies safe. Reach out to available resources, seek support, and let's work together to make sure that every sleep is a safe sleep. You've got this.